I have this kind of love hate relationship with my desktop. Like I move all these icons around and I've kind of gotten it in a position where I, I like what's happening. So like a lot of times I just don't want to see all this crap here. I liked a minimal experience. So I was thinking maybe there's a way I could with auto hotkey control whether the icons on my desktop are visible or not. So it turns out you can do that. And I'm going to walk you through the research that I did to come to this conclusion. So if you right click on your desktop and you go to view and you get these options right here, and there's one called show desktop icons. And for almost everyone in the universe, this is checked, but we want it not checked. It becomes this perfect green sphere in the universe. But how are we going to do it with auto hockey? Well, auto hockey controls mouse input. So let's go to our script. With auto hockey, we want to simulate that action of the right click that I just performed. So the first thing we're going to do is make a hotkey for the script. So I'm just going to do control F12. Uh, you can make this whatever you want. We're going to assume that we're on the desktop already and we're going to do a right click. Then we want to wait a little bit to let that uh, right click process. And then we're going to send the commands. At first, you might think that we have to manage the moving the mouse over the view and then having to wait for the menu to pop up and then going down to the desktop icon and clicking on it and then making sure that the mouse is in the right position every time. But in fact, we don't have to do all that. So if I press the V key, it'll automatically highlight view and then I can press enter and it'll go there. Once we're here, you might think it's S to toggle this, but it gives you that stupid sound that we all hate. Uh, but after trying a bunch of options, I found out that it's D for desktop, I guess. So again, V or right click V enter D and that'll toggle it back and forth. So let's go make that in our script. So we're going to send the V key. We're going to send enter. We're going to send D. Yeah, that's literally it. Let's go ahead and run it. So I'm hitting control F12. And you can see it's really, really fast to process this because Windows uh, buffers your keyboard input in the right click menu, which is why this is so fast and powerful compared to doing the, um, the mouse over thing. But I was also thinking, this means you have to be on the desktop for it. And what if you're like on this thing and then V won't work? And like, I, I felt like it wasn't the best solution to this problem. So then I started to, to look into alternate ways that maybe we could do this without using the right click menu at all. And then use auto hockey to kind of run off some script. <laughs> this is really starting to get into the weeds now. But uh, here I found a Stack Overflow page, which literally does exactly what I want. So um, this guy is looking to add a registry value to Windows to allow it to toggle these icons on and off. And then somebody down in the answers wrote this whole big script right here, um, which literally does this all for me with this toggle icons file. So we're going to um, go through the code in a second and just kind of scroll past this. Um, and he also handles refreshing the window, which was the problem I was having earlier, but where I would write this registry file with Windows and then the desktop wouldn't update. So here's his code. Um, now, I'm not really familiar with C Sharp at all, but after looking through this code a little bit, I, I'm confident this isn't like some kind of malware thing. So that's always good because you got to be confident about that. And I've also built it from the source code myself just to be 100% sure. But if you want to just go ahead and download the EXE, uh, I've, I've linked the Dropbox file to uh, his collection. So I moved uh, toggleicons.exe into my AHK folder. And now our already extremely simple script goes into one line. Save. And let's try to run it. So control F12. It's even faster than before. And you can be hovering over any stupid icon you want. Which is awesome. And you know what? I think after all of this hard work, I'm just going to leave it like this forever. So thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time.